welcome your 2021 fifth grade blue Miamisburg Viking Cheer Squad. Bristol Bailey, Kelly Baker, Fallon Butler, Annie Garrett, Ava Harrison, Stella Hazel, Briley Lucas, Kendall Soul, Ella Shockman, Addison Schultz, Sage Wilson, and coaches Alicia Hazel and Stacy Schultz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for the 2021 fifth grade blue, we Miamisburg Vikings. Number one, Drevion Gravedigger Banks. Number three, Riley Dangerous Smitty. Number four, Bryson Bulldog Bailey. Number nine, Landon Guillotine Green. Number 11, Branson Missouri Mallet. Number 16, Evan Bone Crusher Fisher. Number 17, Liam Kryptonite Kreitzer. Number 19, Kieran Wildman Martin. Number 21, Mason the Savage Sneed. Number 23, Braylon the Playmaker Cammer. Number 28, Cade the Legend Link. Number 29, Joshua the Beast Kales. Number 33, Bryson the Jet Williams. Number 35, Liam. The Eliminator Cooney. Number 55, Bryce, the Annihilator Daffler. Number 65, Billy, the Man Hoskins. Number 66, Bo, the Bear Hoskins. Number 80, Colin Stonewall Miles. <coughs> Number 98, Mike Will, Quillman Works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for Springboro. Introducing your 2021 fifth grade White Panther cheerleaders, Karina Allspaugh, Kaylee Anderson, Claire Bennett, Grace Dettemeyer, Alexis Godridge Kane, Avery Fram, Caitlin Hicks, Lila Cosrabane, Molly Mitchell, Aubrey Mulliken, Grace Newhart, Ashley O'Cray, Claire Bollock, Bryn Sanders, Sarah Strand, Emma Webb, Harper Worden, Elle Westerfield, and McKenna Zimmer. Head coach, Tisha Allspa. Now let's welcome your 2021 fifth grade White Panther football team. Number one, Blake McNaughton. Number five, Adam Shaner. Number eight, Jack Boggs. Number nine, Brady Alieta. Number 10, Bryson Fletcher. Number 11, Mason Grant. Number 14, Liam Rice. Number 15, Sander Gifford. Number 22, Michael Magnuson. Number 23, Matthew Mays. Number 24, Law Cotton. Number 26, A.J. Alleman. Number 27, Carter Leggett. Number 30, Knox Penner. Number 31, Braden Clark. Number 34, Jack Weimer. Number 35, Billy Leonard. Number 38, Mickey Hoynford. Number 39, Joey Jenkins. Number 32, Camden Yulesman. Number 43, Mason Elsner. Number 44, Helen Johnson. Number 45, JJ Petty. Number 47, Landon Stewart. Number 48, Braxton DeBlasi. Number 50, Declan Thielman. Number 57, Joel Pickerel. Number 66, Liam Osterfeld. Head coach, Tyler Shaner. Assistant coaches, Ryan Alieta, Noah Billmeyer, Brian Boggs, Sam Johnson, Mark Jenkins, and Jared Petty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to play the national anthem. If you would please rise, face the north end zone, remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you.
Good evening. Congratulations for making it to Super Bowl Sunday. Springboro, you are a home team. Miamisburg, you are a visiting team. You're going to call it in the air, heads, tails. You're going to repeat what he calls. Heads or tails? What was it? Springboro, you have won the toss. What would you like to do? They've elected to defer. Would you like the ball or want to start on defense? Which goal would you like to defend? So, as we begin this game, Miami's Bird will get the ball. Looks like to begin the game, they are coming out in the shotgun formation. Number 23 takes it. It's wrapped up for no gain on the play. It is now second down and 10. As it looks like they're in the shotgun formation again. As the play is blown dead, as the defense is whistled for an encroachment penalty. Second down and seven for Miamisburg. Number 23 takes it, gets to the outside, is able to run out of bounds. Third down and four for Miamisburg. As it looks like they're coming in a uh, halfback draw. But number 23 is going to take it himself. As there's a fumble on the play, and it is recovered by Springboro, and it is going to be first down, Panthers. Number 11 was getting on there, and there were several other defenders who pounced on that ball for the recovery. Back to pass as number nine hands it off to number 10. Gets to the outside. And it is now second down and two for Springboro.
Back to pass is number nine, but it's a halfback draw handoff to number 10. He's taken down just past midfield. So it looks like no gain on the play. It is now third down and three. Back to pass is number nine. And that is gonna be caught by number 45. And that will result in a Springboro first down. What a smart play there. It's able to get it to number 45 for a first down as that ball is handed off by num to number 10. But he is going to be stopped. For a gain of about two. Looks like they come out in shotgun formation here. Number nine's gonna take it himself. For a game of about two on the play. Halfback draw there. But number 10 is going to be wrapped up immediately. It is now fourth down and three. They have elected to go for it on fourth down. They're in the shotgun formation. As a mishandled snap, but there's a flag on the play as it is a false start against Springboro. It is now fourth down and nine. At the Miamisburg 36 yard line. Back to pass is number nine on the play. Heaves it deep. Almost intercepted, but it results in an incompletion, and that would be a turnover on downs for Springboro. As now it is Miami's bird ball at the 36 yard line. Quarterback takes it himself, gets to the outside, 
shed some tackles, but is going to be brought down. But that is going to be a 20-yard gain for a first down by number 11 of Miamisburg. Now first down and 10 at the 44-yard line. Snap it to the back to number 23. And he gets back up, but the play is blown dead. a flag on the play. So let's see what the result is. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be an illegal block in the back on the offense. So it is now first down and 10 with just over two and a half remaining in the first quarter. Back to pass, number 16 it looks like. That pass is incomplete. It is now second down and 10. Two ten left to go here in the first quarter. Back to pass, number 23, but he's going to take it himself to the outside. He's able to shed a tackle or two, but he is wrapped up right around the 27-yard line. Good run there. It is now third down and three. As they come out in the shotgun formation as he will take it himself. And he is gonna be tackled. But not before they pick up a first down. As it will be first down and 10 at the Springboro 23 yard line. As Miamisburg will take a timeout here.
As we resume play here, the snap to number 16, and it is caught. It's not caught, incompletion, excuse me. But there is a flag on the play. That is going to be a pass interference call against Springboro. as it would be an automatic first down for Miamisburg. Thirty-three will take it himself in the back, and he is going to be wrapped up for a gain of zero, and it will be second down and ten with just over thirty seconds to go in the first quarter. Number 11 takes it. For a gain of about four on the play, and that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. And after one quarter of play, we have no score. As we begin play here, they come out in the shotgun formation as that is a completion to number 28, it looks like. Actually, it is incomplete. And that was my first initial thought because it hit the ground first. But it is now fourth down. Look at the replay here. I honestly think it hit the ground first. So let's see what they rule. There's a flag on the play. Thank you. 
Illegal substitution for Miamisburg. It is now fourth down and 15. As they are going to go for it on fourth and long. Back to pass is number 16. Tries to escape the pressure, but is sacked on the play. And it is a turnover on down. What a play there by number 44 to get to the quarterback. Hand off to number 26. Gets a couple good blocks. He's able to run free for a little while there, but is taken down right around the 38-yard line. It's now first down and 10, Springboro at the 40-yard line. And off to number 26. He is going to be taken down right around the 43 yard line. And it is now second down and eight. as they come out in the shotgun formation. As it looks like the play is blown dead here. As Springboro takes a timeout with 7.36 left in the half. As we resume play here, number nine takes the snap, tries to run away from the uh, pressure, and it is incomplete. It's now third down and eight for Springboro. Nice job there to force a bad throw. Let's see what they do now. Play action by number nine. It's gonna heave it deep. And it is going to be caught by number 11 of the Panthers. And that will result in a Springboro first down. The ball is now on the 34 yard line.
tossed to number 26. Gets free there. But he is able to run it for a short game. It is now second down and five. Play action, nope, it's handed off to number 26, and he will get a pretty good game there. And it is now third down and two. Now fourth down, and just about the length of the football, fourth down in the yard. Let's see what they do here. And they're gonna elect to go for it. So let's see what kind of play is up their sleeve here. Hand off and he will be dropped for a loss, so that will result in a turnover for Springboro. Result of the turnover, it will be first down and 10, Miamisburg at their own 27 yard line. Number 23 takes it. It is going to be wrapped up after a short gain. Taken down by number uh, 66. For Springboro. It is now second down in 10. Toss to the back to number 23. He is going to be pushed out of bounds as there is a flag on the play. As it's going to be a personal foul face mask. on the offense. It is now second down and 25 at Miami's Bird's own 15 yard line. Back to pass, number 16 on the play, tries to scramble away from the pressure, but he will be taken down. It's now third down and 25 on the play. 
Jeremy Jenkins. Tries to scramble away from the heap, but does so unsuccessfully. Loses a yard. And they will elect to go for it on third and long. Back to pass. And his pass is incomplete. Number 23, the intended receiver. And it is now fourth down and forever. And Miamisburg will punt the football. Now it is first down and 10 at the 37 yard line for the Panthers. As Springboro takes over here with just over two minutes to go. Handoff to number 26. He gains about three on the play. It is now second down and seven on the play. Back to pass is number nine in shotgun formation. Caught by number 26. And he is going to get quite a good game there. What a good play that they executed there. I believe that that will result in a Springboro first down. Oh, fumble. Oops. There is a fumble on the play as Miamisburg takes over with just under a minute and a half to go in the half. Number 23 takes it himself. And he is going to be taken down as there's a as there are going to be two flags on the play here. Kevin Walker from Miamisburg. As it's going to be a personal foul face mask against Springboro. As you can see, it's pretty obvious there. Just over a minute to go in the half. It is now first down for Miamisburg. Number 23 takes it himself. He's trying to roll out to the outside. 
is going to be wrapped up by number 66. A timeout is called here. Second down and 14 here. Let's see what's going to happen with just under a minute to go in this half. They come back out in the shotgun formation. Number 16 heaves it deep, and it is going to be picked off by number nine. And he is just out around the... 17 yard line. Springboro gets the ball here with 30 seconds left to go in the half. Let's see what they can do with it here. Snap to number nine, sheds the tackle. But he is going to be taken down. For a loss, roughly around five, and there's going to be a timeout on the play. Play resumes here. It is now second down and 20 for the Panthers. 16.5 seconds left to go in the half. clock is being re reset to nine seconds. There is a timeout on the play. Could not get out of bounds, and that clock keeps on rolling. But nine seconds left to go. Let's see if Springboro can punch it in before the half. Back to pass is number nine on the play. Pressure coming, able to escape the hit. 
And the pass is incomplete. Passes Looks like complete. number eight was the intended receiver. Brings us a fourth and long. With 0.9 seconds left in the half. 0.9 seconds left to go in the half. It is now fourth down and long. Come out in the shotgun formation, back to pass is number nine on the play. Tries to heave it deep, but it's um, picked off. But that will do it for the first half. And at the end of the first half, it's Miamisburg Vikings zero, Springboro Panthers zero. I'm Chris Barnett, and we will be right back after these messages. First up, your Miamisburg Blue Cheers leaders. Excellent job, Springboro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the start of our second half. Springboro takes over, first down at their own 35 All right, ladies and line. gentlemen, we are back now at 
Roush Stadium in Kettering, Ohio. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Chris Barnett. If you are just joining us, we are in the second half of the Miamisburg Vikings and the Springboro Panthers fifth grade Super Bowl. So as we get back to the action here, Springboro gets the ball to start the second half. First run of the half is good for just two yards. It's second down and eight. As, as the play is blown dead and it's going to be a false start on the play. It is now second down and 13 for the Panthers. Play action by number nine. And the pass is incomplete. It looks like number 20 was the intended receiver on the play. It's now third down and 13 for the Panthers. Looks like they come out in a shotgun formation here. Back to pass is number nine. Pump fake, but the ball hit the ground and it is incomplete. It is now fourth down and long for the Panthers. Springboro has elected to punt here. Mishandled snap. Springboro. Just under a minute and a half played in this third quarter. Take it himself. Runs into a whole bunch of traffic. And he is brought down. It's now second down and long. snap it to the back again, which they do. Sheds the tackle. Get around some Springboro defenders. Does so unsuccessfully. It is now third down and eight. So 
Now it looks like they're coming out in the shotgun formation again. Number 23 has it. He's able to run across the 50 and is able to run free and get around several Springboro defenders for a first down. And now they are in Springboro territory. It is first down and 10. himself. Second down now. I'm sorry, it's second down and five. There's a flag on the play. As there is a delay of game on the offense, that is going to be a five yard penalty. It is now second down and 10 at the 18. They come out in the shotgun. Back to pass, number 16. Overthrows number 26, which was his intended receiver. It's now third down and long. Third down and long, they're in the shotgun formation. They snap it to the back, and number 23 gets around the tackle. And he is able to run free on the outside away from the Springboro defenders in for a Miami's Bird touchdown. And that will be our first score of the game, ladies and gentlemen, with 5.06 left to go in the third quarter. That is going to be our first score of the game. This has been a, an incredible game to watch so far. So let's see how it all plays out from here. As the extra point is no good. Five minutes, six seconds left to go in the third quarter. Our score is six zero. Springboro takes over to 35 here. They're in the shotgun formation, but they hand it off. Number 10, it looks like. And that will be good for a gain of nine. And it is now second down and one.
Looks, looks like they're in a halfback draw formation. Hand off. Number 10. Shotgun here. Hand off to number 10 again. And he gains about four on the play. Shotgun formation. Flag on the play. Delay of game on the play. And it is now second down and 11. The flag has been laid off. There was a timeout due to or for Springboro. Play resumes here in a second down and six. Number nine will take it himself, but he is going to be wrapped up just short of midfield. Now third down. No gain on the play, it is now third down and six. Back to pass number nine, he's in a little bit of traffic. Escapes and gets a pretty good gain out of it. That will be enough for a first down. He has enough for a Springboro first down at the 945 yard line. And now he will be in opponent territory at the Miamisburg 45 yard line. If you are just joining us, we are in the third quarter of this ball game with just under two minutes to go. I am Chris Barnett, your play-by-play -play announcer. The handoff there will result in roughly around a three-yard gain. Second down and seven. No gain on the play, excuse me. Second down and 10 at the 45. Back to pass is number nine with pressure coming. And it is an incomplete pass. Number 10, the intended receiver. Pretty out 
to bring up third down and 10 at the Miami Bird 45 yard line. So now, let's see what Springboro has up their sleeve after a scoreless first half. And with only one score on the scoreboard tonight. This has been a heck of a game to watch so far. Let's see if it changes here. It's number nine is back to pass, scrambles to get away from the pressure. Mid is um, thrown, but incomplete. And looks like number 47 was the intended receiver. Springboro has elected to punt here. With just under a minute left to go in the third quarter. As the punt is going to be down. First down and 10. Miamisburg with 46.8 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Number 23 takes it. He runs free, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is after the conclusion of this play as he gets to the outside of the field. But, and he will run that in for a touchdown, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what this is. That is against the offense. It is now first down and 20 at Miamisburg's own 20 yard line. You're a fan of close games. This is the game for you. He takes it himself, tries to run to the outside, is able to get just a smidge of daylight. And it is now second down. And I believe that will take us to the end of the third quarter. It is now six to zero in favor of Miamisburg as we move to the fourth quarter. fourth and final quarter. Now second down and 10 at the 32 yard line. Number 23 takes it himself. There's a false start against the offense. So it is now second down and 11. Snap it to the back. 23 is able to run to the outside. 
get a pretty decent gain on that run. And that will be a pretty good chunk of yardage. And that will be a Miamisburg first down. First down and 10 at the 41 yard line. Number 23, the ball carrier. He's able to, to get to the outside and he's gonna get out of bounds. And that's going to put them in opponent territory. And that is going to be second down and a yard just past midfield. As we resume play here with 937 left to go in this ball game, number 23 takes it himself and is able to shed some tackles. And that will be enough for a first down. Cameron Ball Carrier. He brought down by Braxton DeBossi. like they're in shotgun formation. She will keep it. Mallet the ball carrier. Looks like to be a gain of about three. Number 23 again. But tries to scramble to avoid the pressure. But he is going to be taken down right at about midfield. Almost got away from two Swinboro defenders there. He was met but in the backfield by a unsuccessful, and it is now third down and eight. Third down and 15. Timeout on the field by Miami, but that is their second charge timeout of the half. Se second charge timeout, Miami for Play is now third down and long for Miami's 
Back to pass. Throws it deep. And it is caught. And he is going to be down right at about the five yard line. Fisher's pass complete. Bryson the Jet Williams. Number 33. What an incredible catch there. For a Miamisburg first down gain of 35. Gain of 35 on the play. It is now first down and 10. First down and goal, excuse me, at the six yard line. Number 23 has it. Tries to run to the outside. He gains about three there. Second down and goal. Cameron, the ball carrier. He stopped by Braxton New Blasi. It's going to be second down and goal at the Springboro five yard line. Mishandled snap, but the play is blown dead. It's now third. Play was blown dead. Quarterback received the ball with his knee on the ground. Result of the play was a three yard loss. Going to bring up third down and goal from the eight yard line. It's now third down and goal. As we resume play here, number 23 takes it. Tries to run to the outside. It is taken down right around the five yard line. It is now gonna be fourth down. Cameron Brock here around the right side. That's gonna bring up fourth and goal from the four yard line. Go for it on fourth down. And it looks like they're in the shotgun formation here. Number 11 has it. And that will be a turnover on downs for Miami. Now at the ball carrier. He will stop. That is going to be a turnover on downs. Springboro will take over. First and 10 at their own seven yard line. Going to be First down and 10 at their seven yard line. With just over four minutes left to go in this ball game. like they're in the shotgun formation here. And off to number 26, tries to run to the outside. He is, he is taken down by number 11. Seven from Miles 10 yard line. And 
he gains three on the play. It's now second down and seven. They are back in the shotgun formation. Back to pass. Tries to escape the tackle. Throws and it is caught successfully by number 11. Springboro incomplete pass intended for McNaughton. Actually, the ball hit the ground, so therefore it is now third down and seven. They come back out in the shotgun formation. Play action here. And he is going to be taken down. now going to be fourth down and long. Alieta is tackled in the backfield. It's going to be fourth and ten. The ball is placed at the seven yard line. And they are going to go for it on fourth and eleven. Back to pass. He throws it deep and it is picked off by number 11, it looks like. And that is going to be a pick six for a Miamisburg touchdown. Evan Fisher intercepts the Springboro pass and takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. That was number 16, excuse me. After is coming. And the extra point is no good as it goes right off of the crossbar. Mishandled snap, but the pass is complete to number 26. They come back out in the shotgun formation. Play action. And that is going to be caught by number 11. Mason Grant received it on the play. And that is going to be good for a gain of about six. Do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this ball game. It is next. The final score is the Miamisburg Vikings 12, the Springboard Panthers 0, as we conclude this ball game. Thank you for being with us, too. From all of us here at Miami Valley Communications Council, I'm Chris Barnett. So long, everyone. All right, let's give it up for both these teams out here. Great Super Bowl game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the 2021 runner-up Super Bowl team, Spring Bowl Panthers. Let's give it up for the Spring
Wrestling World Cheerleaders! Give it up for your Springboro Panther football team! Let's give it up one more time for the Spring Ball Panthers! And now your 2021 fifth grade Super Bowl champions, Miami's Bark Vikings! Give it up for those Miami Bark Let's give it up one more time for Miami. 